Good old world, Cloud9. This is the Revelator, as always, here with you once again. This time I want to speak on something different. A little recommend some mangas I've been reading. I'm sure you noticed uh, from the title, we're going over uh, one of my favorite mangas that I've ever really come in contact with as far as things that aren't being promoted by the system, Um, Tower of God, yeah, so let's get into it, man. Fame, glory, power, money, what do you want, whatever you want. In your wildest dreams, it's possible when you reach the top of the Tower of God. Those lucky enough to be chosen by the Tower ascend each floor in hopes of fulfilling their dreams. But to succeed, they must complete dangerous and deadly tests along the way. But there are others who can enter the structure on their own free will. These irregulars are feared by many and are said to leave chaos and change in their wake. 25th BAM is one such irregular who begins to climb the Tower of God in hopes of reuniting with his childhood friend Rachel. But as soon as he discovers this perilous path will put him in the crosshairs of fierce fierce competitors, untrustworthy rivals, and terrifying monsters, and he might not make it out alive. But Tower of God, before it, I had never become invested in a webtoon manga. This Korean-based manhwa, as it were, uh, difference in the languages, I guess, is illustrated beautifully in full color with art designs that are unique and original. Speaking of originality, you don't get much in the way of an explanation of the world other than what I just gave you, (laughs) putting you squarely in the shoes of the protagonist who, in classic shonen fashion, doesn't know much of anything, really. You know how they are. They'll be a, a box of rocks, but they know how to fight. and Or or they don't know much of anything other than to how to nut up when, when he's backed into a corner. Uh, but as I said before, the artwork is stunning. The world, immersive. The dialogue, from what I've seen, is short and clever. Although it doesn't seem to me that Bam is the chosen one, or that there's anything incredibly special about him other than his personality and the fact that he's an irregular, which, is, as I said, is, is said to uh, leave chaos and, and, and a lot of other bad things in their wake. But it's not as if he's the only one or, you know, he's the chosen one. Um, but there is a, a plethora of characters filling this story to the brim with interesting beings. Most having good depth and bring something to the epicness that is Tower of God. If I'm going to nitpick and complain, I would say uh, of what I've read so far, again, the storytelling can lose its focus from time to time. But really, apart from that, you know, which is a small pacing issue, there's really not much bad I can say about this. Um, particular manga, this particular story. So should you read Tower of God? Should you take time out of your schedule of all the mangas you already currently keep up with? I damn sure recommend it, man. Uh, Especially if you're looking for something fresh and interesting. I have to recommend it. Um, But yeah, man, for for all of us at Cloud9, it's Russell the Revelator. Telling y'all stay free, stay safe, stay armed. I hope you and your people are never harmed. And we out.